Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got this uh, yellow circle with the center O along with this uh, an equilateral uh, triangle uh, ABC put together as you can see in this uh, diagram such that uh, these points uh, D and E are the points of tangency. And moreover, the area of this uh, blue equilateral uh, triangle uh, has been given to us as uh, square root of 48 uh, square units. And now our task is uh, to calculate the area of this uh, yellow circle. Please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe. Please keep in mind that this figure may not be 100% true to the scale. Let's go ahead and get started. And here's our very first step. Let's focus on this uh, equilateral triangle uh, ABC. Equilateral triangle means all these uh, side lengths uh, are equal uh, in length. And now let's recall the crucial uh, fact. Uh, angles of an equilateral uh, triangle are uh, 60 degrees uh, each. So therefore, uh, this angle is going to be 60 degrees. This angle is 60 degrees. Likewise, this angle is 60 degrees as well. In other words, uh, all uh, these uh, three angles are uh, congruent uh, as well. And the sum of all these three interior angles uh, is also equal to 180 degrees. And here's our next step. Let's assume the side length of this uh, blue equilateral triangle uh, is uh, A units. In other words, uh, this side length is uh, A, this side length is lowercase a, and likewise this side length is lowercase uh, a as well. And now our task is uh, to find the value of this uh, side length a. And now let's recall the area of a triangle formula. Area equals to a half times uh, a times b times sine of angle uh, c as you can see in this uh, diagram. Here uh, a and b are the side lengths of uh, this uh, triangle and c is the angle uh, in between uh, these two sides. And here in our case our two side lengths are a and a and the angle between them is uh, 60 degrees. So therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this uh, formula. And we know that the area of this uh, triangle has been given to us uh, as a square root of uh, 48. So therefore the left hand side I'm going to just write down uh, square root of 48 equals to a half uh, times uh, our side length is A. Side length is A as well and then sine of angle uh, 60 degrees. And now let's focus on the left hand side uh, square root of 48. And uh, here we have copied it down square root of 48. If we simplify this thing that is going to give us 4 times uh, square root of 3. So therefore I'm going to replace this uh, square root of 48 uh, as uh, 4 times square root of uh, 3. And moreover uh, sine of 60 degrees is uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore I would uh, replace this sine of 60 degrees by square root of 3 divided by 2. So therefore the left hand side could be written as 4 times uh, square root of uh, 3 equal to a square uh, divided by 2 times uh, I can write uh, square root of 3 divided by 2. And here we can see this square root of 3 and this square root of 3 they cancel each other out. So therefore we can write 4 equal to a square divided by 4. Let's go ahead and multiply both uh, sides by 4 to remove this uh, fraction. So therefore this 4 and 4 is gone. So therefore uh, a square turns out to be 16. Let's uh, undo this square by taking a square root uh, on both uh, sides. So therefore uh, our a value turns out to be positive 4 units. So thus our side length of this uh, blue triangle ABC turns out to be a equals to 4 units. So thus all these uh, side lengths turn out to be 4 uh, units. And here's our next step. I have dropped uh, this perpendicular uh, CO as you can see by connecting these points uh, C and this uh, center O. And since we are dealing with this uh, equilateral uh, triangle, if this angle is 90 degrees, uh, so therefore uh, this uh, angle is going to be 
half of 60 degrees so this is going to be 30 degrees and furthermore uh, this segment uh, AO is going to be equal to OB if this whole length is uh, 4 then this uh, side is going to be 2 and this side is 2 as well and here's our next step let's focus on this uh, right triangle uh, AOC and we can see that this is our special uh, 30 60 90 triangle since this angle is 30 degrees this is uh, 60 degrees and this is uh, 90 degrees and here I have copied down this uh, triangle and we can see our smallest angle is 30 degrees and our uh, largest angle is 90 degrees so therefore uh, the side opposite to 30 degrees is going to be our smallest leg and the side opposite to this uh, largest angle is going to be our longest uh, leg so therefore in such kind of special 30 60 90 triangle uh, the longest leg is twice the smallest uh, leg in other words if the smallest leg is one unit uh, then the longest leg is going to be two and this third leg is going to be square root of uh, three and since in our case our uh, smallest leg is uh, two and the longest leg is four as you can see over here then our this uh, third leg is going to be two times uh, square root of uh, three so therefore our this uh, OC length uh, turns out to be 2 times square root of 3 and here's our next step I have connected uh, this center O with this uh, point of tangency D and now let's recall the circle uh, theorem according to this theorem the angle between the radius uh, and the tangent will always be equal to 90 degrees as you can see in this uh, given diagram and here we can see this is our radius and this is our tangent line no wonder this angle has got to be 90 degrees so therefore this angle ADO is going to be 90 degrees since we can see that this uh, OD is the radius uh, of this uh, circle and this is our tangent line and since this OD is the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle let me call uh, this radius as lowercase r and now our task is uh, to calculate the value of this uh, radius r and now let's focus on this uh, triangle uh, cdo we know that this angle is uh, 90 degrees this angle is uh, 30 degrees so therefore this angle uh, has got to be 60 degrees since the sum of the angles uh, in a triangle uh, is equal to 180 degrees and we can see that this is a special 30 60 90 triangle uh, as well and here we can see that uh, this side is our longest uh, leg and this side is our uh, smallest uh, leg and we know that uh, in such kind of 30 60 90 special triangle the longest leg is uh, twice does this uh, smallest uh, leg if this is a two times square root of three then this side length has got to be simply square root of uh, 3 so therefore the radius uh, of this uh, yellow circle uh, r turns out to be square root of 3 and here's our final step let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, yellow circle and now let's recall the area of a circle formula area equal to pi r square where r is the radius in our case uh, square root of 3 so let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in this formula so the area of uh, this uh, yellow circle is going to be pi times uh, square root of uh, 3 whole uh, square and that is going to be equal to simply 3 times pi square units so thus the area of this uh, yellow circle turns out to be 3 pi square units and that could also be approximately equal to 9.42 square units and that's our final answer Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.